awesome chat is brought to you by sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com and listeners like you support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast Hey guys, it's the Awesome Chat, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. And this is the show where we talk to some awesome people in and outside of Pittsburgh, uh, startups, game people, uh, podcasters, all kinds of things. A couple of those wrapped up here today as well. Please check out all of our shows uh, first starting at AwesomeCast.net where you can find the regular AwesomeCast where we have a weekly dose of awesome things in tech gadgets and more. And you can subscribe to the Awesome Chat on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio and the video versions on our Facebook and our our YouTube page for the Awesome Cast itself. Please uh, check out and support the show, patreon.com slash awesomecast. Thank you so much for those out there that are contributing. And, of course, please share, subscribe, however you would like to. And if there's anybody awesome you think we should be talking to on the show, please check us out at awesomecast on the Twitter, again, through that Facebook page, or awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, today, in the midst of this snowstorm, uh, as of this recording, uh, I have on the line with me uh, Andrew Yang, he is founder and CEO of Venture for America, and a great podcast that goes with that. Smart people should wait. Start smart. Smart people should build things. I want to make sure I get that right there. Thank you, Andrew, for joining me t- this morning. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Mike. Thanks. We'll so see if that that snowstorm doesn't knock down the lines. <laughs> so, um, for those uninitiated, can you tell me what Venture for America is? Venture for America is an organization that recruits enterprising college graduates who want to learn how to build things and become entrepreneurs. We recruit them, we train them with McKinsey and IDEA and Flatiron School and others, uh, and then we send them to work at startups and early stage growth companies in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Detroit, New Orleans, Baltimore, and other cities around the country. And at the end of two years, if they want to start their own businesses, we have accelerator and seed fund to help them do so. So it's a national entrepreneurship apprenticeship program with a focus on uh, cities that are not New York and SF. That's fantastic. And again, as we, we talked a little bit beforehand, you know, we kind of look at, you know, you really don't have to be in just the New York City area in, 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 in Silicon Valley for startups. It's really kind of, uh, it seems like entrepreneurism is, is, is kind of taking a foothold in a lot of places in, in the country, right? Oh, yeah, very much so. You know, uh, the, the companies that get built in New York and SF are actually very, very specific type of businesses. And, uh, you know, they're, they're great businesses come to Pittsburgh, as you well know, um, that we have had the pleasure of working with, um, and as well as the, the other 16 cities that we work in across the country. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so, so talk a little bit about, like, you know, what's, their, what's the process? You know, you're working with certain schools at this point? Well, we talent uh, is everywhere. And so if you're listening to this and you're an enterprising recent college graduate who wants to learn how to how to build a great company, please do apply to VentureForAmerica.org. We have we get, at this point, around uh, 1,500 applicants uh, from around the country each year. Um, but we know that it's everywhere. We do have a, have a number of schools that we're particularly strong at, um, but we always want more talent. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, can you talk a little bit about, you know, you know, there's been a discussion about like education on here about how previously it seemed like, you know, our education was we get ready to basically join the workforce. Right. And this is a different uh, kind of a different kind of workforce that we're looking at to get into entrepreneurship, a different set of skills, um, you know, do. Are, are, are the schools getting better uh, at, at preparing for these kinds of things, or, or is that exactly why your, your program exists? You know, it is a little bit of both, Mike. Um, so we are active out of the 1,500 that applied this year. We might take 200 or something like that. So it's certainly not the case that every college graduate uh, is ideally kind to make a difference at a startup. Mm -hmm. Um, But there is a growing level of interest and investment at the undergraduate level among colleges that are opening entrepreneurship center and giving resources, uh, business 
mathematicians. All of that is very hot. Um, problems in my mind are that very few of those things meaningfully uh, guide young people toward um, starting companies at that stage, which is not surprising because if you're 22, 23, 24, starting a company is excruciatingly hard. I know this firsthand because I started my first company when I was uh, 25, and it totally flopped. I you know, lost investors a couple hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so, um, so it's not... So to us, the problems are that uh, if you are on a college campus, it's very easy to get excited about entrepreneurship. But then when the rubber hits the road and you're graduating and you're looking for a job, those to pay, maybe an educational loans uh, to repay, then starting a company seems highly unrealistic and very, very daunting. Right, because it's just a high, high burden already set on you uh, at that point. Um, you, you talk about on, on, on the podcast I'm listening to and, uh, you know, you're you're along that line of because I've been hearing everywhere, you know, hey, entrepreneur is that hip, cool thing, and everybody thinks it's an easy thing to do. And you guys are kind of in in the mission of of kind of educating that idea too. Uh, if you're somebody that that is, you know, considering, oh, I should work for myself, like, what are some misconceptions that they really need to get over to realize, you know, before they get deep into it? Well, anyone who started a company knows that most of the work is uh, done out of the spotlight. It's very glamorous. It's very pretty. It's a lot of intact. It's a lot of doing the, the, the thousand little things that uh, no one sees and wants to do. <laughs> yeah. um, so you need to be solving a problem that you feel very strongly about, and you need to have the persistence to deal with a lot of uh, rejection. Uh, even a very talented salesperson or entrepreneur is going to hear no at least two thirds of the time. And so if you're a student where you're used to getting um, 80 or 90 percent right, that's a very big adjustment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, talk about the podcast. Uh, again, uh, smart people should build things. Uh, you know, what are what are you guys doing with that uh, to kind of uh, uh, spread the message? Well, it, it was the storm of a couple of board members of ours who said, hey, I'm a podcast fan and Venture for America knows all these uh, awesome people, to use your word, um, to totally have a podcast. And um, I was on board as long as other people were doing the work. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, because, you know, to the point of search hard, and you know this, Mike, uh, creating content consistently is hard. Mm -hmm. um, and so when, you know, when we launched it, I was like, look, if we do this, we have to know that it would be a sustained investment because uh, things take time to find an audience. Uh, things take time to find an audience. Um, the podcast has been a huge success. Uh, people started as one of the, the best resources um, in entrepreneurship in part because of some things which is that we try and be honest. We try not to, uh, to bullshit people. Um, and there's a there's a lot of uh, out. It's in both journalists and companies that to uh, hype themselves. Um, and uh, nine times out of ten, um, the things that are going in the scene are much more human and real than they are reflective of like some excited uh, journal piece that probably seem like a ride ship. And it seems like like you can take a, a you know these are you know forty forty five minute uh, podcasts. You guys are taking a pretty deep dive into like like people's kind of paths into entrepreneurship a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, it is very personal. It's one of the things that so one of the I've learned at Venture for America is that if you want um, people to start lots of companies, then you have a lot of people uh, that are up for certain companies. Uh, uh, so much of it is happening inside people, heart, spirit, mind. Uh, you know, being an entrepreneur is a very high commitment choice. And so you need people that uh, feel that drive or determination or confidence um, or, uh, or a sense of mission, really. Uh, and so, you know, and, uh, to me, if someone's like, I want to be an entrepreneur to be an entrepreneur, like that person's almost doomed to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, um, if they say, because they feel very, very strongly that this thing needs to be solved, um, then they've got a shot at it. 
So so really their 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 goal is I need to solve a problem. I want to build or even I want to build X business uh versus I want to be an entrepreneur. Uh, it has to be a little a little further uh, uh, thought out or further further uh, uh targeted than that, right? Yeah, very, very much so. Um you know the like the because all of the ins and outs and day to day of building a business, you need to be driven by something. Um, you know, I've done this for a number of years, <laughs> a number of different iterations. Um, so one thing I should mention for people that that love um, media about entrepreneurship, uh, there's a documentary, Generation Startup, with an Oscar-winning director that followed six of fellows for a year and a half, and, uh, and then be. Uh, um, not available on streaming, but you can um, see a trailer online and then uh, arrange private screenings. Um, so I think we're, we're, we we are looking at having a screening at Pittsburgh, which would be very exciting. Um, but that's like the best, most entrepreneurship I've ever seen. Um, it's called Generation Startup. Generation Startup. Go look for that. Uh, I'm going to take a peek for the trailer myself. Uh, and definitely, please, if, if you guys do that, please let us know. and We'll let the audience know. Maybe we can get a little uh, awesome cast outing. Uh, uh, going on down there because I'd, I'd love to see something like that. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. It, it's a beautiful, honest film. Mm. So, um, so I guess uh, uh, lastly here, you know, is there any advice, uh, uh, any last minute advice, any kind of uh, uh, thing that should be stuck in people's head when they're thinking about uh, getting into uh, starting their own business? You know, a, a lot of it is around being committed to solving a, a particular issue and also the people you surround yourself with. Uh, I, I'm one of those people that thinks team is the whole ball game and that if you have the right team, you can accomplish a whole lot. So our fellows in Pittsburgh are working with, uh, with the team, civic science, trademark vision, Ascender, forever, uh, Zulama and other awesome companies that are, that are really taking on significant challenges um, and that's the way we think people learn. Um, one of the things about entrepreneurship, I mean, I say this in my book, um, smart people should build things, you know, just after the book. <laughs> but um, that for most people who are looking at becoming entrepreneurs, the best path is not to start your own company. The best path is to join a quality team. Because if you join a quality team, you'll, you'll end up getting a lot of useful skills. And then you'll also get a different sense of the problems that you want to solve. And the, and the ways to do it. Um, so, to, to a lot of founders, be founders, like uh, business mythology around founders. And uh, I can tell you, like, you know, Venture for America is this thriving organization. And, um, and it has a lot more to do with Harry and my colleagues and everyone else. <laughs> and the fellows who are making it happen in Pittsburgh um, every day, like, they're the important piece. Um, you know, that the founder times is more the, uh, the glue guy um, uh, than he or she is um, like the person getting it all done absolutely it, it, i think i think that is a mistake uh, like i know i i have uh is uh you know oh being the entrepreneur it means i am the person that does everything and that needs to be kind of shaken right off the bat right so awesome yeah yeah man the sooner you can find someone who wants to, to take some of the load off uh, the, the better <laughs> well, the best uh the best one of the more interesting ceo quotes that i've seen it was just reiterated on another podcast i was listening to again this week was uh uh, uh you know one ceo was like you know my, my job is to not be the smartest person in the room <laughs> when and when it comes to that and just taking the information and, and really processing that and making the decisions right yeah yeah very very much so uh like um, and, and CEOs that admit they don't have all the, the answers tend to be more successful. Um, you know what? We're actually having a lunch and learn uh, in Pittsburgh at hour twenty six on Tuesday, March twenty first, um, from noon to one thirty. I think there's free food involved. So if anyone wants to come to that, um, it's Tuesday, March twenty first at hour twenty six. Um, so yeah, like uh, you know, we we are in. Do some work. Um, you know, the thing that we pride ourselves on in Venture for America is we're going to send real ass-taking people to real companies. Uh, we're not going to talk about it. We're going to do it. 
There you go. There you go. May, may swing by and check that out then. Uh, so we'll, we'll put the links, of course, in the show notes uh, for this podcast, for that event, and for you guys to check out the podcast and uh, adventureforamerica.org. Uh, if you want to check it out, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you know, uh, I think it's a really cool thing, and I like to see all these kind of ventures that are teaching people to kind of get into this this kind of new workforce uh, that that's that's been developing over the last several several years, right? So, um, so please check out everything VentureForAmerica.org dot org and uh, and and check out all the conversations we're having here at AwesomeCast.net. Uh, over over well over probably two years of, of interviews we've been doing here uh, with some awesome people and all kinds of walks of companies and and uh, and businesses and podcasts and all kinds of fun stuff. Thank you to my awesome guest Andrew Yang for joining us. Thanks so much, Mike. It's a pleasure. Keep up the great work. Thanks so much, and uh, you've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.